Hi everybody. I wanted to talk you through the summer 2019 <clears throat> syllabus and course expectations. I find it useful for students to uh, walk through or have someone talk them through the course and the syllabus. And so let's just do that for a, a, a little bit um, so that you get a sense of what this course looks like. Now, if you are watching this video, you are already in the page um, uh, for the Blackboard uh, course, and it will look something like this. One thing that I found students get tripped up in is this little arrow here that hides the course menu. If you can't see the course menu out here to the left, click this arrow to expand it. Um, I've had students just frustrated, and I was frustrated at first when we when Blackboard went to that kind of a model. Um, because, you know, they can't find the menu, they can't find them. Well, the menu is here. The course menu is here off to the left. Here you'll find the summer 2019 syllabus, which you can download. Um, you will have already dire been directed to the Start Here page with a little bit of instructions about course navigation. If you get tripped up, you can always come back to this page and look for course navigation instructions about how to engage in the course and then you'll also find another copy of the syllabus, the same syllabus. Um, but most of the time um, during the semester you will come to weekly assignments. Now um, the, the course hasn't gone live yet so um, you uh, won't see these uh, or you will see these first uh, probably um, Tuesday at 11.59, um, uh, April, what is it, uh, April 14th, I guess. <clears throat> but one, once you get into it, uh, or May 14th, that is, uh, once you get into it, you'll see something like this, um, and these will sort of come online each week. So week one will come on May 15th, week two, May 22nd. You just click in here, and you'll see the learning objectives for the week, um, and then the learning activities, including the things that I would like you to do. Um, so here you'll have another copy of the syllabus, and um, I've got a little treasure hunt um, power, PowerPoint um, exercise that I would like you to do to show me that you've read through the syllabus and you understand the course um, requirements. And then as you click through, you'll find some videos that I've posted um, introducing the material, um, and then um, you'll have the various things that I ask you um, to do, right? So as you're going along, I'll say, uh, watch this video and then go down and take self-quiz one and go down and write the first question, um, uh, discussion question, and then go down and watch, uh, write the self-quiz two. So you'll find those assignments here, and to get to them, you just click on them and they'll come to, to you and you can sort of uh, follow through on them um, as they're required. So let's talk briefly through the syllabus. Let me bring the syllabus over here, this side of the screen. And this is the syllabus. Um, my name is Dr. Hume, and um, so you can contact me here. This is my office number um, in Meisenheimer. Now, I'll be in Meissenheimer and in Charlotte some this summer, probably one day a week on each campus, but mainly be working from home um, this summer. So um, if you need to contact me, the best thing to do is to email me, and this is my email. You can contact me anytime, and I will endeavor um, to email you back within, uh, uh, within a business day um, so that I can get back to you. Sometimes I'll probably be much quicker. Um, there are some times during the summer where I've got some other things that I'm doing. I'm running a camp um, for our students uh, on the Meisenheimer campus, and um, so I'd be traveling a little bit during our, our online course. But I'll be logging in. I'll try to log in uh, at least once a day just to check in with you guys and, and see how you all are doing. Um, you can read through the uh, student learning and performance objectives um, and all the learning activities that I have uh, set for you. Basically, you'll be watching these videos and reading, um, and then I've got some quizzes and little tests to do, um, and then some little writing assignments 
Uh, towards the end of the semester, we'll have a few extra assignments. We'll have a wiki um, that you'll be doing. We'll have a This I Believe piece that you'll be writing. Um, and uh, you'll have um, be compiling a, a critical thinking uh, portfolio um, of all the methods for uh, interpreting the New Testament that we introduced for the summer. These are your textbooks. They're um, up online on the bookstore, so you should be able to find them. Um, I really do want you to use, uh, if you can't get the New Interpreter Study Bible, get a New Revised Standard Version um, translation. Um, that's really critical. You can probably get it as an app. You don't necessarily need to buy the Bible. Um, you can probably find it. If you go to this link here, where all of my biblical, where I have biblical resources, um, you'll find some links to online Bibles. Um, which which would be uh, might be useful to you. Um, so you can go in here. Um, you've got Bible resources. I've got all kinds of, of things that you can look at. Bibliography. Um, where we have it, if we have it in Charlotte, I've got the Charlotte reference. You can actually find it. If you make it to our main campus, you can find some of these things on our main campus. Um, so I've got some bibliography, some resources. Um, this is a little page about me, um, um, more contact information, um, and then here are the online Bibles um, that you can find. Um, so that might, you know, save you in terms of having to buy. But having a good study Bible is actually not, boy, that's an old picture. Yeah, anyway, having a good study Bible is, um, is, is, a, is a nice thing for you. So coming back to the course... Um, so basically, um, this is this is the course that you'll you know the course description, and this is everything that we'll be doing um, throughout the semester. You'll just need to click into the weekly assignments when they're available to you um, to see them and to follow through on my um, uh, um, work. Now, the way this works, the course will open up Wednesday, um, May fifteenth, I guess. Um, at midnight, so you'll you'll start to see um, the weekly so assignments uh, show up um, at that time, and um, there's a couple things that you'll be doing every week. One of the things that I ask you to do in the first week, actually twice, um, the first week I actually want you to introduce yourself to your uh, colleagues, but then also um, I want you to engage in discussion. Um, each week in the discussion forum. And so basically your first post to the discussion forum should be a thoughtful, about five sentences or so, reflection on the question that I've posted. So you'll be watching these videos and then you'll post a little discussion. Everybody needs to do that by 11.59 p.m. Saturday, so midnight Saturday. Um, uh, get that done. Um, and then you can respond to each other. You'll have all day Sunday to respond to each other, Monday and Tuesday. You need to respond at least, I think I ask you to do that two times uh, according to um, the textbook policy. So if, or, or to, according to the syllabus policy, and you'll find that down here, um, which is sort of the rubric for evaluating evaluating discussion. This is really kind of in-depth, but really the first thing I'm looking for is this response by Saturday night, 50 to 200 words, answering the question, and then each responding to another student at least uh, once or twice, right? And this, you know, we'll have a new, new discussion thread every week. Um, and I'll be jumping in, trying to give some direction, so I'll be around you know, I'll probably jump in most Sundays, um, and then again most Mondays and Tuesdays, just to to see that you guys are 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 on track with that, um, so that so that you hear my voice and that you see that I'm present, um, and and if you have any questions, you know that we can do that. I'm kicking around, um, and I'll put an announcement out. I'm kicking out around one night a week, being available to you. Um, through Blackboard Collaborate, where you can just sort of log in um, and visit with me. I'm not sure which night is going to work um, this summer. It could be Wednesday nights. It kind of might, might, might make sense. Not the first Wednesday night, but probably the, the week after that, you know, when the class starts. 
it might make sense to do that on a Tuesday night as people are trying to finish up their assignments. Um, I've also done it on Thursday nights. Um, so let me just figure out, let me talk with my wife and figure out which night might be best. I'll let you guys know. Um, if you have any ideas about that, let me know. Um, sometimes I just sit here all alone and nobody logs in. Um, but, um, but, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe Tuesday nights might be a good idea since y'all are be, be working and if you're having any questions, you can sort of get, get up with me and ask questions. Um, that way, um, in a live chat kind of kind of uh, a format. Um, so basically, that's what we've got. You've got those little self. Oh, let me show you about the quizzes, how those work. Um, so uh, each week, I'll have um, a quiz or two um, that you'll. Oh, wait, that's not, that's another video. Um, each week, we'll have a quiz or two that you'll be doing. Um, and these are under quizzes, but there, you'll also be referred to them. Um, each in the weekly assignment. So if you're in the weekly assignment, so say for week one, it'll say, oh, go do self quiz one. You click on that, it'll take you to this page here. And then this takes you to the textbook page. And you just basically fill this out. Boom. I'm just going to do it randomly. Uh, fill it out. Click on them. You can use your textbook. So this is basically to check that you've done reading. You, you can use your textbook. You can use your notes, videos, anything that you've done. Click on I'm not a robot because you're not robots and evaluate the quiz. And it'll tell you, you answered two out of 15 questions correctly. Oh, that's not very good. Um, I want you to do these until you get um, um, an 80% score at minimum, right? You'll get full credit for these, but I want you to get it to 80%, so like 13 out of 15 or whatever that would be, 12 out of 15, or 15 out of 15 if you're really a perfectionist. Keep doing these. I mean, it'll figure out, I mean, actually, it'll tell you what the correct answer is, which kind of like is really easy. Um, you know, you can almost just not answer and then go back and give it. I mean, if you don't want to learn anything in the class, you could do that. You could just sort of not answer it. And I, I shouldn't be telling you how to cheat. Don't do that. Don't cheat. It's New Testament. This is the Bible. Um, but, but seriously, um, this is for your own learning, right? So if you don't understand something, go back and read it till you understand it, and then answer the quizzes. And then once you're done, once you've got this page, I don't need to see the whole thing. I just need to see this. Copy it. So if you're on, um, if you're on a computer. Uh, a regular PC or laptop, you should be able to press uh, PRTSCRN, the print screen kind of deal. Um, usually that's with a shift or function key or control key. I think it's control. Um, and, and that'll make a copy of it. Um, and then you can just go back to here um, and you can insert it, right? Or what some students do is they'll have um, a Microsoft Word that they'll they'll copy it into. They'll copy and paste, or cut and paste, and copy and paste. I don't care as long as I, and and then just upload that right or or write the submission. Oh yeah, you, so you click on write submission and then you add you just um, uh, press Control V um, to uh, to uh, uh, submit it. So if you do Control Print Screen and then Control V, you should be able to do that. Let's try that Control. Uh, print screen and control V. Uh, it didn't work. Uh, let's say shift print screen um, and then control V. Uh, oh, anyway, you'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Um, um, uh, or you can just basically copy and paste, right? Just copy and paste into a Word document and then I can see that. So you can do that um, however you want it. Just put it there so I can see that you actually did it, right? And that you got 80% um, out of those. That's what I'm looking for. Um, so uh, yeah, so those are the quizzes. Uh, I believe I talked through um, the uh, weekly uh, review and reflection questions. 
Um, these are here as well. You know, you'll, you'll be uh, referred to these again at the end of the weekly assignments. Um, you'll usually write one of these. We're going to write seven of these throughout the semester. Um, and basically go to the page on that I refer to in your textbook, page 44, um, and just write a 250-word essay responding to any of those questions. Save it on your hard drive and then upload it right here by Browse My Computer. You can attach it and then I'll be able to grade those. Um, I'll be giving you more information about um, the critical thinking portfolio and the wikis and the other, other activities of this, I believe, activities as we get into the semester. But basically, your job is to go in um, and do the weekly assignments every week and just follow down Right, start at the top, try to figure out this is what I want you to learn, this is how I want you to learn it, um, and then just going through and doing each piece, uh, piece by piece, and then these are the assignments that you'll be engaging in each week. I hope that's helpful to you. If you have any questions, please email me, let me know, um, and again, I'll be setting up a time when I'll be available to you each week uh, through Blackboard Collaborate. All right, hope you guys have a, um, a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching this. Um, hope you're having a great start to the summer semester. God bless and bye-bye. Uh,